Eagles have really been able to lose two opportunities early here. Remember the charge and another one that wouldn't go in for him. But when you keep up this kind of defensive pressure, eventually you get a run. You get two or three minutes where you just get some steals and make a run on the team. At halftime, Kentucky led by seven. They now lead 41-32. Turpin against Jones. He uses that glass so well. He really does. And that makes the shot to have a flatter trajectory, and it goes up there much quicker, so it's tougher to block. Rodney McCray at the other end. Steal. Lancaster Gordon couldn't get it to drop, and he's going to have a foul on Milt Wagner. Another golden opportunity gets away from the Cardinals. But the press is relentless. There goes the lob pass. Excellent timing. Beautiful pass by Jones. Melvin Turpin has all six points and throw it away again. Kentucky really being played by the turnovers. Here, they've got to throw the ball long over the top of the press because Louisville has moved five men into the backcourt and there's just not any room for tight passing there. Gordon will inbounds out to Wagner. Wagner needs to hit something. That could help his confidence. And the more you score, the more you can get the press set up. Here's another turnover. Kentucky needs a the time. They need the time. They've got to take it now. That's the third turnover in a row by Kentucky. They have eight for the game and steal by Minifield. Wagner reaching in. Blocked. Rodney McCray. Tilpin follows his own. He has eight points in this half. Eight points in the second half. Turpin, 14 for the game. Back door, foul on Manyfield. That was a lob to the guard. Lancaster Gordon showing what an athlete he is. Now here you see Rodney McRae hustling down court. He got that one clean. Look at that. He almost hit his face on the backboard. That foul on Manyfield is his third, so he's going to leave the game. Number 11, Dickie Beal, has checked in for Joe B. Hall. 45-36. Boy, was that a two- or three-minute exchange there that was something. Well, Melvin Turpin must like this court because he's having quite a second half. Had the great game against Tennessee here earlier. 15-51 left. Rodney. Set play. There was a screen on Rodney McCray's man from the backside, and here we go again. Another turnover. This is a set play right here. While all this is taking front on the perimeter, there's a screen for Rodney McCray's man, and he hits it. Kentucky has called a timeout. We'll be back with 15.41 left to play. 15.36 left to play. 45-38 Kentucky leading, but Louisville making a move. Kentucky went to the 2-3 zone. Lancaster Gordon filled in the middle. All of a sudden, it's a five-point game. The pressure again. A steal blocked by Turpin and McCray. See now, Kentucky's going to try to throw over the press. This is a smart right here. It took them a long time to do that. They kept trying to handle the ball in the backcourt. you got to throw over that press because Louisville had all five men in the backcourt. Well, that seven-point halftime lead is now a three with 15 minutes to go. Gary, as I mentioned, when you have that relentless press, there are going to be minutes in the game where you go three to five minutes where you just go ahead and take over, and that's what Louisville did right here. Six turnovers by Kentucky in the second half, 10 for the game. Kentucky would like to get that ball on into Turpin on this exchange. They want one shot out of him. There it is. Kenny Walker in the game now for Kentucky. Turpin missing. Rodney McRae playing both ends of the floor. Kentucky got what they wanted there. That was a good play on their part. Here's Scooter McRae wide open. 
It's a one-point game. The Kentucky lining up now to try to throw over the press. Here they go. They're throwing right over the press. Good move. Remember, in the first half, the Wildcats led by 12. By